who was it? It was uh, uh, Death and Loathing in Las Vegas. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Hunter Thompson. Yeah, he rewrote The Great Gatsby so he, because he wanted to know how it felt to make a masterpiece. Like, copying for the sake of learning is one thing. Yeah. That's, I tell my students, copy all the time. Go ahead, copy. Mm -hmm. Don't claim it's yours. Right. Like, copy SpongeBob, copy Spider-Man. I copied cartoons and... But that used to be the main mode of teaching. Yeah, teaching yeah, yeah, yeah. But when, yeah, passion. but it's when people, artists take the copy part mm -hmm. and say, oh, that's it. I was like, no, there's, you know, and I teach, I mean, it's not my original idea, um, but it's copy, transform, combine mm -hmm. is when, you know, you first you start with copying something and then you go from copying to transforming something. Mm -hmm. And then you go from transforming to combining it with other things that you transformed. And within that process, I mean, if you make it into a mathematical formula, that's a basic mathematical formula for creativity, if you want to break it down like that. But a lot of um, artists, if you want to call them artists, people get lazy and just say, oh yeah, I copied it. And then therefore now you have uh, the Jordan 1 sneaker. And now I'm talking about shoes, but like Michael Jordan Air Force Ones or whatever. Yeah. And now you have like, not even exaggerating, 900 types of the same shoe right. to the point where like other brands just copy the silhouette and just change the swoosh to like, mm -hmm. I don't know, another symbol. Well, that's a mark. Come together because of a battle that each of us was fighting within himself. Mm -hmm.